Hey heroes, hope you're all having an amazing day. I'm Rai Kayin, thank you so much for taking the time to check out my channel and check out this video. I hope you enjoy. And guys, we are back with more Pokemon Snap. It has been a while since my last Pokemon Snap upload. We completed the main storyline around about a month or two ago now, and I've been doing short tutorial videos ever since. But guys, we have just received a free new update to the game. I've seen a trailer for it. I know a little bit about it from the trailer. I haven't seen any other gameplay. I haven't watched anyone else play the new content update. So I'm so, so excited to be jumping back into the game and hopefully we can experience new updates together. So here we are. We've just come from the home screen which announced the new update and we've been thrown straight into a brand new cutscene here. So here we go, guys. Here we go. Alrighty, we are back in the research lab. We have Rita over here. Professor, you look really happy. Did something good happen? I took a moment there to consider if I should do accents for the characters, but we all know from previous experiences how bad my accents are. So I think we're just going to stick with the normal voices today. And here he is, the man himself, Professor Mirror. Oh, there you are. Excellent timing. You see, I was re-examining the results of our survey so far. And I found new teleportation points. Guys, this is it. We have brand new expeditions in the game. Whew. One of them is near the jungle on Belusiva Island. The other is on Veluca Island, just beyond the desert. Yay! Awesome, awesome. Uh, but haven't we already researched those islands? So I think there are like secret paths that have now been unlocked or you have to do something to unlock them. So we're going to have a look into that and find out. All right. uh, that's the exciting thing about research like this. You can discover something new every day. Of course you can. I'd imagine the ecosystems on the same island would be similar to each other, but you never know. Well, we'll be the ones looking into it. She says we as if I don't take one for the team. You know, every expedition is us going out there, venturing into the unknown. That's right, I'm counting on you. Alrighty guys, this is it. That's right. And the legend himself, Todd. I've heard one of these places might be a bit nostalgic for me. I feel like that's a hint or a throwback to the original Snap game, and I'm very excited to find out exactly what that is. I think this will turn out to be a really fun expedition. I think it will, Todd. I think it will. <laughs> and Phil's here. Yay. Alrighty, I'm gonna take a ton of photos there too. All right, Phil, hold your horses. We all know who the main expeditioner, expeditioner? Is that a word? Expedition guy. Let's go with that. And we have already received a present. We have unlocked the uh, cool filter. Very cool. We've got the heart five sticker, my favorite numbered heart sticker, I suppose. Uh, we've got the accessory 12 sticker. Who doesn't love accessory 12, guys? Wow, we've unlocked quite a bit here. We've got ribbon six. We have design 20, my favorite design, of course. All right, I've just clicked on research and Phil is here to supposedly be annoying. Uh, hey, I got to tell you something. This is just between you and me, okay? Okay, what is it, Phil? You're not going to believe this. A new feature for the Neo one, the professor's testing out. <gasps> if this is what I think it is, this is going to be an epic adventure, guys. <laughs> Apparently, it shrinks the whole pod and whoever is riding in it. So for those of you that haven't seen the trailer, this is a, a brand new feature introduced with the new content update and it looks absolutely incredible, guys. So. Wanna take it for a quiet little test run? Of course we do. Let's do this, guys. What's up? <laughs> well, hey, hey, what you doing? Okay, I mean, look, look at Phil looking into the distance like he hasn't just, you know, told me confidential information. Uh, nothing, Rita, nothing. It's all good here. See, me, me and Phil are on the same page for once. Hmm, Professor. Professor. Yeah, Rita sussed it out. Yeah, Phil, Phil knows he's messed up now. Look, I'll explain later. 
Okie dokie. Anyway, the shrink function uh, should kick in automatically if you run a scan at this one spot in the nature park. Okay, as very helpful as that is, that is just a picture of a tree. I have no idea which tree they are referring to in the nature park. I, I mean, I'm sure there will be, you know, clues around, so I'm sure we'll be able to find it. So let's find that one spot, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the uh, Florio Nature Park and see if we can find the uh, the area in which we can shrink, guys. So let's go ahead and start the daytime expedition. Alrighty, guys, and we are back in the uh, Florio Nature Park. I forgot I have burst mode turned on. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that off for now because I don't wanna accidentally use too many photos at once. And for those of you that didn't know about burst mode, it's a feature you unlock once you complete the main storyline, I believe. Um, and it is super, super useful. So make sure you use that when you have it. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna apologize in advance because it has actually been a while since I, you know, done a proper video on uh, Pokemon Snap, of course, and there is so much to do. We need to constantly use the scan feature so I can figure out where this uh, shrinking spot is, apparently. Um, there's usually Bidoof over here, but I think, yep, they have moved on ahead, but we're gonna see if we can get a cheeky, cheeky snapshot of those guys. Amazing. Now, I don't wanna use up too many of my photos before we use this brand new feature. Whoa, score bunny's not usually that close. Alrighty, guys. I'm trying to get the best pictures I can, but it has been a while, so just bear with me. We have a Molga up there. I also saw something incredibly cool with a Molga in the uh, trailer for the new update. Is this it? No, I don't think so. Wait, 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 wait. I feel like it's around here. It's not there. Where is the tree where we can shrink? Okay, it must be around here. Is it this one? Is it this one, guys? Hold on a second. Right, that's just a crystal bloom. I hope we don't have to come back and redo the expedition because I genuinely... I'm not sure where the new shrinking spot is. A few moments later. Alrighty guys, and we are back. Apparently I missed the shrinking spot on the first time around the expedition, but with the help of Google and possibly a few YouTube video tutorials, I have found where it is supposed to be. And for those of you struggling to find it, it should be over here. Wait, have I got the wrong tree? No, it should definitely be this tree. Now I'm very confused. It is definitely, there we go. Okay, it just takes a while. That's the one. All right, guys, I think this is it. This is epic, guys. That is a giant worm pool. This is insane. This is literally Honey, I Shrunk the Kids Pokemon Edition. This is amazing. Holy guacamole, guys. When I saw the trailer for this and I saw this part here, this was absolutely incredible. That was like one of those moments you know you need to play a new update. Oh my golly gosh. That is Dodrio right there. Guys, this is incredible. It's so simple, but it's such a creative idea. I love it. Whew. All right, guys, if anyone is struggling to find the shrinking spot, do not worry because, uh, you know, I, I didn't find it the first time around, but hopefully this helps you guys out and it gives you a little bit of insight into just how cool this brand new update is. No way. We're flying on a Mulga. I literally, there's just too much to process. My words won't even string into sentences right now. This is absolutely incredible. All right, let's try and get one of whichever Pokemon that was. Um, we've got Wormpool doing some crazy Wormpool dance. Oh, guys, this is absolutely unbelievable. Is that Snorlax? No way. Guys. Right, so not only do we have these brand new features, we also should have some brand new Pokemon. We've got Bidoof's little butt just hanging out there. Hilarious. We've got the trio. 
going for a snack down here. Oh man, I'm so excited to see how these photos turn out. This is absolutely incredible. Look at that. So cool. Oh, wait, the drill has gone somewhere. I'm just trying to get the best photos I can because obviously a photo from underneath Torterra isn't going to do great. Um, but honestly, I'm still blown away by this. This is absolutely incredible. And this is just one of three updates. Uh, so I think obviously there's one for Belusiva Jungle, is it? And the other one is somewhere that I've completely forgotten about. But we'll get to those guys. We'll get to those, don't worry. Oh, uh, look how small the uh, Illumina orbs are now. That's so cool. Oh, man. Yo, what? What is going on here? Holy guacamole, guys. We can see it from the baby Pokemon point of view. This is amazing, right? We're going to get some of Wormpool together. Holy moly, Dodrio is just causing chaos everywhere. Guys, that is a photo right there. No way. That is so sick. What? Dodrio and Torterra are fighting. That is awesome. Wait, there's there's a Crystal Bloom. Surely that has to do something. Oh, wait, I forgot we have to like really throw that now because we're very small. Um, this is such a cool update. Absolutely love this, guys. Alrighty. I think we've got quite a few of uh, Peter and Squall Bunny, but they're looking very happy there. That's what you like to see. Good on you, Torterra. Protecting the baby Pokemon. Alright. What is awaiting us? Through the grass. Wait, there's something we can scan over here. Whereabouts is it? There we go. A bird Pokemon's a nest. Interesting. That wouldn't be Pidgeot, would it? Hmm. Wait a minute. Okay, looks like that's it for now, guys, but that is absolutely awesome. Now, I'm not sure if the expedition ends when we're done here or if we continue on the expedition, so I guess we'll find out. But guys, this has been absolutely incredible. And look at that, we even get to finish the expedition. That is awesome. We've got Sylvie on here as well. I don't think Sylveon's ever been here before. So that's very cool. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get Sylveon's attention. Although to be fair, we do have quite a few platinum photos of Sylveon. But you know, definitely one of my favorite evolutions. So we're going to get a few good pictures there. Are there any other cool photo opportunities here? We've got a pretty good one on Vivalon. Uh, if we use the scan feature, there we go. Beautiful, guys. All right, I cannot wait to see how these photos turn out. That is such a cool feature for the update, guys. Incredible. And now's the awkward part where we're just waiting for the end of the expedition. Alrighty guys, first up we have the giant worm pool. I thought this was a pretty good picture. It was the first Pokemon we encountered in our shrink mode. Is that what we're going to call it? I guess so. We'll come up with a better name eventually. Uh, but I don't think it's going to be... Oh, no, I spoke too soon. We have a gold star and we have a, a brand new record there. Nice. And next up we have the school bunny. I thought this was an amazing photo. I mean, just the expressions on their face and how perfectly aligned they are. Uh, hopefully this is a pretty good score, but I keep speaking too soon. We have two new records, guys, and that is a platinum star. Ah, this brings back memories from, from about a month ago where we would do these videos and then rate the photos. Uh, that was also a pretty cool picture. I mean, any picture of giant sized Pichu and Score Bunny is going to be epic. Uh, very close, but apparently our original photo was better there. So we're going to go ahead, hold on to that. 
Wasn't the best picture of Dotrio, but it was definitely the most interesting at seeing a giant Dotrio head just sort of poking down at you. It was very cool. So we're going to go ahead and keep the original there. And we did, of course, get to fly on a Molga. That was absolutely incredible. We got this giant size photo of him here. So hopefully that beats the original score and we have a platinum star on our hands. Wait, no, they were called diamond stars, weren't they? Now I remember. And Torterra, the VIP, the very important Pokemon of the expedition, guys. And we managed to get a four-star photo as well. If this is a four-star diamond, that would be incredible. But maybe, yes, four-star diamond, guys. Let's go. We also managed to get a cheeky snap of Vivlon at the end. I'm not sure if it's going to beat the original just shy of it, so we're going to keep that because that was an epic photo. And Sylveon appeared. Uh, Sylveon is not used in the daytime expedition, I don't believe, so that was a very cool new feature. And we get a double diamond star, guys. We're already at max research level, but that was still very, very fun. Another fine set of photos. Keep up the good work. Oh, no way. We have a brand new research level bar for the side path. That is incredible, guys. That's such a clever way of doing it. I like that. I like that. That sure was an intriguing bit of research. And our total core score is apparently over a million, guys. That is absolutely fantastic. Fantastic work. You're close to becoming a top class photographer. Now then, is he mad that we, we like tested out the shrinking capabilities before he told us? Uh, once we're done here, let's all convene for a talk. Yeah, Phil's in for it. Phil's in big trouble. Oh dear, looks like Phil's in trouble. Because we're probably gonna put all the blame on Phil. Let's, let's be clear here, guys. Let's be honest. Uh, just a second, you three. What were you thinking? That shrink function is still in testing. You should have asked me first. Damn it, Phil. You should have asked the professor first. Oh man, our cover got blown already. No, 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 no. Don't try and pin this with us. Like Phil acted on his own. To be honest, it was all Phil's idea, Professor. Sorry. Yeah, you should be Phil. You should be very sorry. I'm sorry. You should also be sorry too, Rita, because I'm the only one that doesn't need to apologize, apparently. All right. <laughs> Yeah, see, Todd's on our side. Can't we cut them a little slack? Think of all the sites we never would have gotten to see otherwise. This is true. It was actually all my idea. Phil had nothing to do with it. Wow. Hang on, Todd. Did you know they were up to this? Ooh, he kind of put his foot in there. Uh, I might have. Sorry about that. Hmm. Look, just remember that the shrink function isn't fully tested yet. I feel like they're holding on to that for a future update. So hopefully that should be very interesting. Right. Uh, it's for the nature park only. You won't be able to use it anywhere else. Yep, that makes sense. Gotcha. Got it. Yep. Yes, sir. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. I think that is an amazing reintroduction into the new Pokemon Snap game. We have the brand new update. We got to experience the brand new Shrink Ray feature, which we were apparently not supposed to use just yet, but it made for some incredible snapshots. Guys, if you're as excited as I am to find out what the rest of the brand new updates are, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really does help and it really does mean a lot. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you again in the next video.